This is a quick tutorial on how to get your uh, kicks punchier, uh, better mixed with your 808, and just get a overall better sound out of your uh, your drums uh, without having to constantly dig through your sample packs or find new sounds and mix and match. Um, you can, in the mixing process, tweak it enough to where you get what sounds like this. sound like this. So let's jump into it. I've got this very basic drum loop that I just programmed out real quick. It sounds like this. Nothing special, um, but the, the kick sounds very flat, and there's uh, currently no side chaining on it. Um, so, to make it sound a little better, to get a little more punch out of the kick, I like to use Fruity Blood Overdrive. And uh, a good place to start is off of the, uh, the drive preset. You can already hear the, the kick, it starts to knock a little bit more than what it was originally doing. Um, so next, uh, I'll just play around with the, uh, the settings. The color is a, a good way to deal with the, the distortion of it. Um, get a lot more color. You can get a lot more color out of it. Um, I also like to play around with the post filter and uh, to more clearly hear what's going on here. I'll mute the other channels. So if I want a, a brighter sound, I'll, I'll turn the post filter down to zero. And then as I start to turn the, uh, the color down, you'll start to hear that it gets a little more distorted, a little more uh, colors on the low end rather than on the upper high end. Uh, so I'll leave this around about 45. I like how that sounds. And then uh, if you're someone who likes to, to clip your, your sound, uh, turn the post gain up. I don't, I don't typically like to do it too much. Um, we'll reset this and then re-level it and a little more. All right, so then you can definitely hear that the, the kick knocks a lot more than what it originally was. Um, next thing I like to do, side chain. Oh, don't turn that on. Uh, come down right here, uh, click that. It'll usually be up here like this. Just turn it off. Uh, also, you can just right click and click side chain to this track. So how I side chain is I use the, uh, the pretty limiter. I go under the compressor. I click side chain as the insert one. Turn my ratio all the way up. And then I turn my uh, threshold down. So. Also mess around with the knee a little bit in the uh, the release times. Um, that uh that does makes a significant change to to how your drums are mixing before and after. So we'll turn them off all the effects. Uh, oh, also one other thing that you can do is you can uh, throw EQ on here. Um, turn these back on just so we can EQ it. Um, I typically like to throw a high pass down here and cut out the. Uh, right around 40 hertz just so i'm not interfering my kick with the uh the 808 and leave a little more of the bottom end for the 808 to, to just ring out and then also sometimes depending on how the uh the blood overdrive works i like to either do a little subtraction up in the uh thousand hertz range just to to tone down some of the knock and some of the ring that may may come with it depending on your kick and uh, how you set up your your blood overdrive and so from there we can just uh, mute these and you'll hear a night and day difference very dry unpunchy kick that's uh, overwhelmed by an 808 and from there we'll just turn it back on Hope you enjoyed.